Fremont Ride Out um, actually puts on a symposium, a diabetes symposium every year. And I usually come and um, I, I am a vendor and I communicate um, different things to about diabetes to the um, folks that come through. Uh, so it, it, they've been a very great support. Uh, without Fremont Ride Out, we would not be able to do the outreach of the diabetes education that we do now. Um, that she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Home. As we were driving home on a, a country road, she looked over at me and said, Mom, I think my life's just about to change forever, is it? And I said, yes, I think you're right. I was five when I was diagnosed with diabetes. But they taught me about how to carb count and take shots and do my AccuCheck every day and keep my blood sugar under control and things like that. Diabetes is a constant struggle. You will win some battles, you will lose some battles. But on a more positive note, you can live with it. You just have to have friends and families and support groups help. And the Fremont Ride Out Conference Center allows the Yuba Sutter Diabetes Support Group to work there for free. The symptoms I discovered were I was real thirsty all the time. I, I, and uh, urination was another that I knew that there was something wrong. And that was when I went to the doctor and they diagnosed me with diabetes. And, you know, I tried as hard as I tried, I could not control my diabetes. And that's when the doctor took over and help me control it. I was diagnosed about 16 years ago with type 1 diabetes. About the exercise, he has me uh, walking. I walk about three or four times a week and I ride my bike about every day. And then I do my yard work, so it keeps me busy and keeps me active. Dr. King is my physician for the last uh, 10 or 12 years now. I, uh, I hear that Dr. King is working with Fremont right out educating the community about diabetes and I think that's a good good thing because I don't think we can get enough education on diabetes. Fremont Riot Out Foundation is doing a wonderful job in helping promote education to the public on diabetes. Uh, diabetes is an expanding disease. It's uh, a lot of it has to do with heredity, heredity and uh, so we see more and more people getting it. And of course, with our economy the way it is, we see more and more people that don't have the ability to pay for their medicines or get the education that they need about the diabetes. The uh, diabetic classes that have been given by Dr. Kang have helped the community and the, our physicians because they have so many new medications coming out now, it's hard to stay on top of things. Uh, when I started in medicine, all you had were a few pills and some pork or beef insulin, uh, which a lot of people had reactions to. You had this little tablet, you dropped in some urine and checked the color to see how bad their blood sugar is. Well, now we can monitor better. We have medicines that work faster. We have medicines that prevent some of the um, problems that we didn't know happened, like the liver putting out glycogen and making your blood sugar go higher. Uh, the fact that the enzymes in the gut blocks how the, how the insulin are used. Uh, so there's so many more things that every year something new is coming out and by going to these classes it helps us keep ahead. Type 2 diabetes is epidemic in America right now. We have about almost 24 million people which is close to 8% of US population which is affected by type 2 diabetes. And uh, we are spending close to $300 billion on the care of diabetes and its complications. So it's, it's, it's actually getting worse every day because of people's lifestyle, weight gain, obesity, and lack of exercise. Uh, Fremont Ride Out Foundation has been very helpful uh, with the Diabetes Symposium. They have provided all the resources all the PR work and, uh, and the conference center, and uh, also help us to use it as a nonprofit organization to get us uh, grants from different pharmaceutical companies to fund the speakers. So uh, I will say, I don't think uh, we could have been able to do this symposium without support of Freeman Rider Foundation.